Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it is the 21st which means we are doing the, I don't know if this is the 21st look. I don't think so because of the vlogs. I think this is the 20th look of the month but I think I'm gonna do more than 31 this month. It's just gonna depend on how a couple ideas go. But anyway, today we are doing Kim Possible. One of my favorite shows of all time, even now as an adult, love Kim Possible. Great show. Definitely thought it was more than three, th uh, three seasons, but it's not. Disney Plus has all the seasons and there's only three. So that's what we're gonna do today. I did this look a long time ago and it just wasn't very complete and it didn't look the way I wanted it to. So we're gonna try and redo it today and make it look right. So first and foremost, I'm gonna start with a little bit of foundation here. Just kind of spread it all out. You don't need a lot. This is a super easy makeup look. Like if you need a last minute one and you have a pair of like greenish cargo pants and a black turtleneck, you are good to go. Uh, and the makeup's really simple, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Now we're gonna conceal a little bit. I'm not gonna use it as contour. I'm just gonna put three dots right under my eyes just to even out my skin tone, cover up my bags a little bit, just to make sure we have a nice cartoony complexion, which translates to super flawless. So just blend all of that out and then gonna throw a little bit on the lids just so everything is nice and consistent and cohesive. So blend that out on top. Now all we are gonna do for the eyes is put a little bit of powder on them. So you just wanna take a fluffy brush, nothing crazy, and go into kind of a skin tone color. So I'm going into toffee. This matches my skin tone the best out of this palette. It's a touch darker, which is okay, because that will give us the sunken in eyelid look, because her eyelids are way sunken in. So we're gonna blend this out all nice and smooth. So then I'm just gonna take a little bit of a lighter color. This one's crepe and just do this right under the brow bone to make sure everything is nice and blended. Now for the liner, I'm just taking a brown eyeliner pencil and we're gonna go right along the lash line. I mean like right along it, just to accentuate the lash. And for the lashes, we're not going to put on false lashes because her eyelashes are literally just like a little flick of the pencil. So we are just going to throw them in the lash curler and then a little bit of mascara. So now, because we are wearing a coppery wig, I'm going to go into my Caramel Brow Powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're just gonna give ourselves a really thin brow. Hers is literally just a little line, but you know, we wanna make it look more like live action, I guess, which I have not watched a live action movie. I refuse to. I don't care if it's wonderful. I don't care if it's the best movie people have ever seen. I do not accept that as my live action Kim Possible, okay? Now that we have those filled in, let's move on to just a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush. So I'm just going into the 
kind of medium and light colors in my little bronzer here. And we're just gonna give ourselves a whisper of contour. Just a little bit because she does have more angular features than I do. So like we'll go down the nose and make it more slim and pointy and then kind of around the chin. Blush, tapping off most of it, but just gonna sweep the lightest little coat. Highlight wise, I'm gonna take a really small brush, go into the highlight and just put a little bit on the tip of the nose and right down the middle and across the bridge. A little bit on the arch. And now we're gonna change our lip shape, which is probably the most iconic and most important part of this look. So you're gonna take a pencil and you're gonna fill in your cupid's bow so that it's rounded out. So kind of drawing like a frowny face. And that's just going on the top. For the bottom lip, take your concealer, your foundation, whatever, and make that bottom lip disappear. I'll do mine with a couple layers. And the color I chose today is Peanut Brittle from NYX. And it's kind of this coppery orange and that's really the color of her lip. So. And you're gonna wanna let that dry. To stop any transfer, we're gonna go into whatever shade is close to your skin tone and just tap it on the concealed lip. So for today's wig, because obviously it's going to be Kim Possible Copper, I'm going in with this black wig cap, which I just use to kind of pull all my hair into and then flatten it out by just pushing it all flat. Make sure it's nice and tight to my head. Now I have thin hair, so most of the time I do not have to braid it down. I just like making sure it's all in there tight. And then I'm taking a nude wig cap. And we're gonna pull this over the top. Now this is one that you would stretch down and like cut and glue down, but I'm not doing all that today because I'm gonna be taking this right off. So just make sure this is stretched all around your head and covering it up. And for the wig, I have this lace front uh, that I've worn before. So it is already adjusted how I like it. And we're just gonna throw this on our head so I get my clips down right at the edge of my cap when I line up the hairline the way I want to and oh this is so tight okay and then pull it down in the back get the clip in the back under my hair or under the bottom of my cap I should say and then you just adjust the part so it's a nice side part 
and there you go. Kim Possible. So that is it. This wig is so tangly because it's so long, but I like running a brush through it while it's on my head because it just keeps the hair nice and separated. And there's a whole clump of like knots right here, but that's okay. So yeah, this is it for my Kim Possible Halloween tutorial. If you guys like it, let me know down below. I love it. Kim Possible is such a good show and so before it's time, uh, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.